you might be missing some of the benefits that stereo can provide. Hi guys, Captain Paladin LP here. Welcome to another edition of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we pretty much completed the Fire Temple. All we got to do is, um, in this coming episode, is defeat Volvigia the boss. And right now we're going to go outside just to refill on a couple of items here. And also, we're going to visit a great fairy now that we have our Megaton Hammer. And I gotta turn off the volume to my TV because it's a little bit loud. There we go. <laughs> but yes, we are nearly done with this temple. Uh, thank goodness, because this temple does take a little while to get done. Not as bad, not as long as probably the water temple, but you know, but it can you know drag on forever if you let it. But. But I'm doing well. Uh, we're just gonna go down here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some arrows from one of these business scrubs. And I got my big run sword, which you cannot really use as a shield whenever you have it out. So we're probably gonna switch back to the master sword after we're done. Here, we're just gonna remove the irritation here. What you got? Bombs? Yeah, I don't know if I can use any. Uh, don't I need any? And about Deku nuts? I don't think we can use those either. But arrows we can use. 30 for 70 rupees. Not too bad at all. And get a rebate of hearts. Alright. But we we'll go ahead and go back out, and we're going to pay a visit to the Great Fairy, the the, the, the blocky... I don't know what I could say about, about this fairy, but jeez. If there was the one thing that, um... That shit, what Navi might say, that would be... Um... The Great Fairy does have some amazing tits. Okay, I had to say that. <laughs> oh, I gonna get in trouble for that one. But I... Go ahead and play your song of Zelda's Lullaby. Show me a hustler girl. Oh man, that is just so wrong. <laughs> And this is rated E for everyone. Oh, big boobs. Oh, my God. <laughs> and going to hit our magic power. And what she's going to do is we finally got our double magic. So that way we can have, have a little bit more magic and use for wars, wind, or just about any other magic spell at... More often, quite more or less... Because we're going to be getting into some pretty rough temples coming up. And we're going to use a little bit more magic for sure. So, go ahead here and accept the magic power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Yeah, 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 we get that. Just go back into your brothel, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you have to think, you know. I, I don't, I don't want to say anymore. <laughs> About every other woman with big boobs who uh, just probably would kill me. And given that I have the female audience, I should just, you know, lay low on the female jokes. So, yeah, okay. Although the females, uh, you know, follow me, um, especially Mara. And I too, Mara and um, Shy Lemon, were. She came up with a um, weird name last night. Apples is so... Gay... With blood and blah, 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 whatever she said. <laughs> I don't remember. I uh, did a streaming of Mario Sunshine last night. And I don't know what she was... Wanting me to call her something that I just could not comprehend or something like that. I'm like... Okie dokie. She's a good gal. I mean, she's from Australia. But please, ch chill. All right, all right, good. 
But given what we're going to probably in coming up coming episodes, though, we're going to be um, going to Gerudo Valley, and you know we're going to be talking a little bit about the Gerudos. I really should get rid of Big Run Sword. We were not going to be needing it quite as much. Because we're gonna go over here and go on this side, the right, right side here, and get a few refills on a few items. Because a hook shot over just to go to these pots over here. Granted, when we do the fire temple or in the master quest, we're going to be doing a little bit. Thi There's gonna be nothing more to but pure puzzles everywhere we go. So. Let's just go back to our master sword, thank you. And get a fairy here, we don't need it that much. Another fairy. Yeah, plenty of opportunities to pick up some fairies, but I already got three blue potions and a fairy, so really, all you really need. I think Mara will be continuing her three heart run on Ocarina of Time sometime soon. Maybe. I don't know what you're gonna do next, Mara. <laughs> Although she's doing several games, she streams several games, including Link's Awakening, a game I've never played before. But here we go. My suggestion is get Megaton Hammer, your bow and arrow, and probably some bombs to help you out. And. Go ahead and go across here. Earthquake! Oh, just like any Zelda game, you, you get rid of the entrance. Very nice. Meet Golvegia, subterranean lava dragon. Whoa, fiery breath. This is about the game of best game of whack a mole you'll be playing here. Get out your hammer, lock on, and then smash his head. And then use your master sword just to whack his head. And he'll come out and kind of do a loop the loop. What you can do is try to shoot your arrows. And you inflict some damage on him. Yeah, just kind of troll him, get down. But usually that will just force him down. And here's another round of whack a mole. And if you're not quick about it, he'll just swipe me. That was a big hit. Four hearts, three hearts, or something like that. Yeah, he's not kind of—he's not fooling you. Damn it! He's taking the life out of me. That's three hearts. And he's going to start the second attack that he has. He's going to collide with the upper part of the cat cave here and cause rocks to fall down onto. To cover his basically the um, point of entry where he goes back down here. So you just gotta bear with it. You just gotta whack his head and then take your master sword and just slice it. You can use your big run sword, go ahead, but I think that's just how you used big run sword last time. I might as well just, you know, alternate make the battle a little more interesting. It is more interesting. I already lost about six and a quarter heart now. Uh, we we'll never know which hole he's coming at, but he'll make it more difficult if you follow him. Oh, thanks a lot, buddy. That I didn't know you could do. <laughs> He said, I'll burn your soul. Uh, he's starting this rock shit again. 
It's the best you just get out of the way whenever he's doing this attack. Because really, there's no point. You can't even get close to him. I'm hoping I don't have to use another Fury here. Wow. Uh, shoot, not again. Well, I guess you're just gonna get the arrow treatment, my friend. Get your ass back down there and stay down there so I can whack your head up. Oh, man. Alright. Surprise! Boom. And. Whoa, that was it. Enjoy your headache. You know, for someone who is, you know, who can live through um, lava or magma, you know how to burn yourself out, that's for sure. But, we get our heart container. We're now up to 17 heart containers. And, goodness gracious, we're back to full strength. And that will be the end of the fire temple. Whoa! Oh, earthquake. Wow. All that smoldering ash is gone. Oh, it makes you wonder what it was like, you know, when Mount St. Helens erupted. With all that smoldering ash that just stayed in the area for that time. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did, and I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great spirit of Sage of Fire. Excuse me. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. And we have completed a very critical temple. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Yep, that is true. So that will end this de uh, Death Mountain Crater. We have nothing left here to do. And I think for probably for the time being, we're going to go ahead and just get some Gold Skull Tullas up to the point where we're going to go to Druida Valley. Because I plan on going to Druida Valley um, in the next episode. I'm just going to just kind of troll around in this episode a little bit. Troll, troll, troll. But we get some Gold Skull Tullas and we're going to talk to the people in Goron City. And probably. Um, go back to, um, um, Kakariko Village and, um, begin the next phase of the next part of the, um, quest here. Because we still only got two temples left, if, and that's another just DQ scrub area, or business scrub area, so that's nothing to really need to worry about, unless you need some items still. But... Yeah, we still got um, two more temples. Probably the two b temples I think will be the most critical on my commentary because I do have a 
a lot of things to say about the next two. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just got a tweet. I have tweet deck showing that, um... The RNC has a messing problem. The young people are constantly rolling their eyes. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Yes, I am rolling my eyes at the RNC. Ugh. I'm rolling them as if it was a Goron. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> I mean, really. Because I have rock eyes, boy. My rock eyes said it's not even worth listening to them at this point. But, go ahead and play the sung song just to get this one. And we actually, actually, we only got three um, heart pieces. I mentioned that we had three before we got the last heart piece, but we actually, it turned out that we, by then we had four. But the last three heart pieces are in Drew to Pally. So that, you know, we'll go ahead and proceed there. But, but look at that. It's so peaceful. No, as you notice, by getting to this point, we didn't evolve. Um, that mountain didn't erupt at all. So, just go ahead and head on back to Goron City because we have some minor business there, and we're gonna go ahead and get the next song, which will help us get into the Shadow Temple. But first of all, we gotta talk to everyone. First of all, get another gold skull toilet, which is over here. Behind this rock, you just gotta hammer it and then collect it right there. And we're all we're nearly done with that quest, so we're, we're making excellent progress on the gold skull to left front. But here we are, Goron City, and look at this, there's someone here to greet us. More or less the uh, usher or the doorman or security guard, more or less. Said, thank you, Paladin. Well, you're mighty welcome. Now, a little bit for spoilers, and I don't know why I mention this now, but... Um, there aren't as many Gorons to find in the Master Quest version, for some reason. I don't understand why that is, but when you play the Master Quest version... There's fewer Gorons to find, for some reason. I don't understand it either, but we'll, whenever that time comes, we'll get to it. Brother Paladin, everyone has come back! Dad and you destroyed the dragon together, didn't you? When I grow up, I just want to be a strong man like you, Paladin. But we now are we have our our business here is complete. So the best thing we can do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead to Kakariko Village. So I will be back with you in just a moment. And we're going down the mountain here. So excuse me, Tech Tight, you're in my way. I gotta smash these rocks. Um public order number thirty-three. All rocks must be smashed away from... Oh, the <laughs> tech time was upside down from the smash. Oh my gosh. It created that much of a quake here, but... Now we're finally back at Kakariko Village here. We'll go, go inside and... What the hell? Hmm... This is strange. I didn't know this was happening. Well, I know this happens, but... I thought there was supposed to trigger a cutscene right here. It's already raining. This is strange. Hmm. Let's go to the potion shop. Or no, we actually need to go to the, um... Bazaar. Because we need to get some arrows. We're down only down to nine arrows, but... Huh. I learn something new every day here. Go ahead and 
buy a full quiver here full. This is strange. It didn't trigger the cutscene. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and trigger the cutscene. I'm kind of baffled by this. You'd think it wouldn't matter, but... Let's go ahead and go forward here. Yeah, that's still there. Well, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, well, you'll see just a moment because that little wooden um, bar wouldn't, wasn't um, supposed to be there. And he has no information about the rain. So... That stinks. Well, we're going to go ahead and trigger this cutscene because I thought you could have done it by either going through either entrance, but I guess you're just going to have to go through the primary entrance because we got to trigger the next cutscene for this area. So, we'll just... When you step outside, it's clearing out, but... <laughs> Nintendo logic. Okay. I just had to say it. There's Epona, or Epona, whoever you want to call it. But, but now you go through this way, you trigger the cutscene. So that this is so weird. Now, what was this? Uh, I'll I'll let the cutscene go through here. I'll, Get back, Paladin. Well, now that goes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah, ah. Sheik, Sheik, what's going on? What's going on? Ouch. Uh, yeah, you better pull out your sword, Link. This is not good. You really think you can do something against that? <laughs> well. Those things I see on Twitter, it's so sad. You know that sometimes? Wow. Looks like you're coming out. Coming. What am I saying? Uh, looks like you're coming around. Jeez. Paladin, a terrible thing has happened. The evil spirit, shadow spirit, has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, had sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. Ooh. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Yeah? Like, Paladin, Impa is one of the six sages to destroy the evil Shadow Spirit. The entrance is in the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will even draw you into an infinite darkness to absorb even time. Yes. What we call a black hole, okay? <laughs> Quantum singularity. Sorry, Mara. <laughs> well, are you going to do something, Paladin? Or are you just going to sit there? Oh, now you... Yeah, okay.
Yes, he's gone again. Damn. But, I'm going to go ahead and make it nighttime. We're going to talk to some of the people in here. I'm uh, sorry, I just saw a tweet around here saying the hacker uh, for Ocarina who plays Ocarina of Time, I guess, or any Zelda game, where a hacker basically switched his roles of Link and Zelda. You know, it's kind of like the story about um, um, a guy who hacked the game so someone can play Pauline instead of Mario. <laughs> when times are tough, laughter is always the best medicine. That's what my dad always says. <laughs> oh, what do they say? The lady around here is so generous, she even took care of the carpenters when they were here. Well, we gotta take look, a look at that a little bit. The bearded guy went back to the ranch. He looked so happy. That daisy man, he kind of reminded me... Oh, you need to talk about Richard again, that damn dog. Folks around here tell of a fabulous rich family that once lived in one of the houses of this village. They say the entire family was cursed due to their greed. Who knows what might happen? It was consumed by greed. Yes, I'm sure they stole King Ramsey's tomb and sold it for a whopping profit, and then they got followed by him by saying, Return the slab or suffer my curse. We'll go ahead and go up here and we're going to get visit Impa's house. Sorry about the brief interruption, but we had to con had to go shovel snow. Got about three inches of snow around here. Please don't tease my cuckoos. Well, we'll see if Josh Jepson has to say about that. If the lady asks you about something, her chickens, you should listen to her. Well, excuse me, mister. Then go talk to us. The fire almost consumed us all, but together we were able to put out the fire. Pretty good work, don't you think? Well, oh. You better not be laughing all the way about that, I swear. But. Oh, wow. Now it's raining here, but. We're going to go ahead and soon call an episode here, because we're going to go back in time for one brief moment before we go to Druda Valley. So, on the next episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to go um, just visit Kakariko Village as a kid, you know, visit the Carpenters at night time, see what they had to say, because that will be a segue to what we're going to be doing at Druda Valley. So... Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your viewership and all, and um, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Um, this is Captain Paladin LP here, hoping for the very best of you, and to all my followers, thank you very much, all. Captain Paladin LP signing off. <laughs>